Welcome to this episode of Horrific History and Hauntings. I'm Beth. And I'm Ramey. We're your hosts, here to talk about the stories that the history books ignore. From horrific epidemics and ghostly hauntings to the catastrophes and tragic events that have sickened humanity. What sickening stories do you have today, Beth? More bridges. Oh. This is going to be the last of the bridges because they were not nearly as entertaining as I thought they were going to be. Now, the donkey lady was pretty funny and sad. Yeah. It's just been difficult. And there isn't that much. And they're all kind of the same. Not as interesting as I thought it would have been. We'll discuss other subjects after this, I guess. Yeah. Well, tell me about some bridges. Hills Bridge, <laughs> located in Michigan in the woods. Small metal footbridge. It literally just looks like a piece of meshy looking metal going across a creek. How's that haunted? The legend dates back to the mid-19th century. Children in a nearby town began to go missing. It was unknown why. While the adults searched for the missing children, they left their kids that hadn't went missing with a man called Elias Frisk. That Frisk? Frisk? Frisky? It sounds like you're leaving your kids of someone known as the Diddler. <laughs> F-R-I-S-K-E is how you spell that last name. <laughs> He tied the kids together and led them to the bridge where he showed them the bodies of the missing kids he had hid under the leaves. I I don't mean to blame the parents here. Yeah. But you leave your kids with someone named Frisky. (laughs) Is this true? It's just a legend. Oh, thank God. I can make more jokes about it. Another thing that made these bridge ones so difficult. I mean, they're all difficult when it comes to a haunting thing, but these just, there wasn't much to them at all. Yeah. Then he killed the remaining kids. Big surprise there. Mm -hmm. When the townspeople found him, he said the devil made him do it. That's the only believable part about this is that somebody would say that. Yeah. They used the rope he tied the kids together with to hang him from the bridge. That's very poetic. I don't... It was a very small looking bridge. If you look up online... They just tied him to the bridge and wandered off. There's reports of activity at Hell's Bridge. There's orbs appearing in photos and videos. Oh, orbs. Yeah. Lots of orbs and lights. The Sawbones series has a saying that it's a medical podcast. They say, cure-alls cure nothing. They've learned that by covering so many cure-alls and all their inability to cure anybody of anything. We should have some sort of saying we come up with about orbs, because I don't believe in most orbs. No. Orbs prove nothing. It's light. It's just... Light reflecting off of a... Light reflecting off of a bug or off of dust. I can sit in my bedroom with the windows open. Off of the camera. Yeah, that that too. I get camera lens flare on my iPhone. Yeah. I don't get it on my Android. So think about that next time you want to record at night. People also report seeing movement out of the corner of their eyes and hearing unexplained rustling or splashing near the bridge. Some report hearing screams or laughter of children. A few visitors have claimed to see red eyes or hear deep laughter from the surrounding woods. Most of the people who believe in the legend believe these phenomena are manifestations of the evil spirits who had influenced Frisky. Is that his name? Frisk. I just, I just or say Frisk. I don't know how to say his name. I don't know. Frisk, I'm assuming. Frisky sounds better. Yeah. Other reports also claim to see the faces of the murdered children beneath the water of the Rogue River. Rouge River? R U R O U G E? Rouge. Rouge. All of these happen mostly around midnight. Sounds normal. Mm-hmm. Poinsett Bridge, located in South Carolina, Greenville County. Considered one of the oldest bridges in South Carolina. Not the oldest, but one of the oldest. It was constructed in the 1820s, and the legends is during construction, the workers became ill with what was thought to be malaria. Ah, uh, those mosquitoes. Always have to get you. Mm-hmm. If it ain't mosquitoes, it's cockroaches. We need to figure out a way that we can work against each other. Mm -hmm. Legend says the body of one of the workers is buried in the bridge, but that's obviously not proven to be true. Another legend says the headless body of a man who was shot on the bridge in 1861 shows up on nights that it rains at midnight. Of course. We've come across midnights a lot, too. Yeah. What happened at a witching hour? (laughs) Three o'clock. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't know ghosts and hauntings and demons followed time zones. Yeah, I don't know. To be a haunting podcast, I just seem to be full of negative stuff. Yeah, it's okay. It's kind of hard when you're on one of these multiple episodes where everything is pretty much exactly the same. Different names, different locations. But other than that, pretty much the same. This one also has locals saying that they have trouble starting their cars when they're ready to leave. Lights, 
move towards them as they sit in their cars. They hear loud screams. What? What? Sorry. My iPad just started playing something. Oh. Okay. You know, the screen also went black. My wallpaper disappeared as soon as that happened. Okay. That's so weird. Maybe we shouldn't be saying we don't believe. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe. Huh. They hear a loud scream when the light gets close as well. That would make me afraid of an orb. I'd be terrified. If I heard a scream as soon as it got close to me. I don't like screaming. I don't like loud noises, but who really does? Yeah. Unless you're into the concert thing. Concert? Not consort? Concerts. Yeah, consorts can make loud noises too. (laughs) The wailing Betsy. One of the stories is someone drove their neighbor and her boyfriend at the time and one of their friends to the bridge and they parked across the road. As soon as they shut the engine off and rolled down the windows, they could hear movements around them. The driver had one hand resting on the door and then felt a man's rough hand and fingers grab onto theirs. Ew. It's frisky again. Once said that their uncle was there and seen a white figure at night. Uh Uh-huh. A ghost. And then there's one that said there was an unexplained mist of a man's size proportion. The shape was captured on film at the time an investigator reacted to an audible external noise Uh Mm uh-huh pretty much orbs screaming laughing car trouble i wouldn't want any of it to happen to me and and missed at one point missed just goes well off bridges Mm -hmm. so missed also makes for a great horror story richmond bridge oh i've been to richmond not that richmond tasmania australia the construction began in 1823 and was completed in 1825 it was made out of sandstone and constructed by using convict labor. Okay, that doesn't surprise me. No. In 1829, George Grover, an ex-convict, was sent from England to Australia for stealing. He was said to be an aggressive man. In 1829, he completed his sentence and was free, but he stayed in Australia and was employed as the guy who would whip the convicts. He found a job that suited. Mm-hmm. He's like, I've been in your situation before. Take this. This is awful. He was in charge of overseeing the convicts carrying sandstone from the quarry for rebuilding part of the bridge. He would whip them even if they were not misbehaving. There was also this one thing where he would sit on top of these carriages that he would force the convicts to carry the sandstone with rope and pull along. And he would just sit on top of it and make them carry him along too while whipping them. Thought of himself as a leader, an emperor. Yeah. Xerxes. He got drunk one night and fell asleep on the bridge. The convicts found him and beat him, struck him in the head with a pickaxe, and then threw him over the bridge. I'm not surprised, and I can't say he didn't deserve it. Yep. I'm not a judge, though. (laughs) I can say that. I I wouldn't do it. His ghost is said to haunt the bridge and the area around it. He's sometimes seen as a shadow figure walking across the bridge or standing by the bridge, staring at people. It's said to sometimes get aggressive towards people and has been known to follow them home and haunt their homes for a while. Sometimes there's a small black dog known as Grover's dog seen around the bridge as well, but the dog is friendly and it's believed that the dog may be trying to warn people about the dangers of his ghost. That's probably true. Dogs don't hurt people. Mm Mm-hmm. I think we did mention dogs in our last episode as a way to die, though. Yeah, you did. And that's all I found for this. That just those. Those two bridges. Three. Three bridges. So, oh. yeah. Okay, that was a short episode. And that's all of the bridges I will be trying to do because that is just... I found a few others that said they were haunted, but there was so little about it. Uh, or I couldn't find specifics as why it was haunted. Why are you going to say it's haunted and not give me any stories? Of how you think it's haunted. I found a lot of those. And that's why I'm just not doing this anymore. Because that's just yeah, a waste of my time. Okay. Well, that was a short episode. But it's been a fun one. Nice to get the bridges out of the way. Mm-hmm. They started off strong and kind of petered out near the end, didn't they? Yeah. it was, <laughs> And it's all the same. What I could find was pretty much all the same. So yeah. I could have just said, all these, give you a list of bridges. And just said, there's orbs, laughing, children, women. Just everything. And maybe a few convicts. Beth, do you want to tell us your socials? Horrifichistory.hauntings at gmail.com. Same name for Pinterest. Okay. And we have a Twitter account. It's called Gruesome Gaming G. You could follow us there, tweet at us, tell us things you, you might want us to cover. Let us know what you think, any stuff like that. We're part of the Gruesome Gaming Group Network. It's a, got two more podcasts besides ours on there. Well, another one of them is mine and Beth's, and it's a podcast called Brother Nerd's Quest. It's where I tell her about tabletop role-playing games. 
and different ones each week usually and i'll tell her about the setting and some of the basic rules in it and see if she'd ever want to play it and another one that i do with my friend dakota is called leveling duo it's a podcast where we talk about video games we've played in our past or recently and the good times we've had at those and some of the details about the game usually good stuff like that good memories about games The link to that will be in the episode's description. Thank you for listening. I've been Ramey. And I'm Beth. This has been Horrific History and Hauntings. Come back and we'll tell you some more sometime. Not about bridges. No, not about bridges. Bye-bye.